All right. How you guys doing? How's the family? How's it going? How's your family? I'm back. We're here in the uh, computer room where I do all my work today. I got something nice to show you. I've been at it. I'm running late with my video. Sorry about that. It's been a little over a week, but I've been busting my butt trying to get everything listed on my eBay page, Old Fart Collections, and Creepy Attic for all the stuff I buy every week. I didn't get a lot of stuff this week. I went out there to a few spots. There really wasn't much going on, so we didn't uh, we didn't get a whole lot. But we got a few items to show you today. And then also, I ended up selling my... Uh, I had a Gibson SG guitar, and I ended up selling that, and I upgraded to a... Wait for it. Wait for it. Boom! Look at that! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This thing sounds phenomenal. This is a Gibson Memphis ES-335, and there's that beautiful symbol on the head there. I took and uh, bought that this week, and man, the sound on it is incredible, and it's a beautiful guitar. It's used, and we got it for a really good price. And we're super, super happy to have that. I thought about making a demo of the sound of it, but I don't think this recorder will give it the justice that it's due for how good of a quality sounding guitar this is. I'm so happy with it. I've been playing it a lot. And here's the case that it came with. Nice hard shell case. It's not an original Gibson case, but hey, we don't care. We got something to protect it. And there's my beautiful Fender Twin Reverb amp that I play through that I love. What a combination. Gibson and Fender. You can't beat it. And then I've got one of my, uh, I showed you last week, I picked up a lot of video games. These I had to tear the uh, Xbox 360 apart because the door wasn't functioning properly. So we took that apart. We watched a video on YouTube. Thanks for the guy that listed that video. It really helped a lot. Anyway, we uh, took that apart, and now I'm waiting for the, the belts to come in, and I'll get that new belt on there, and it'll be all fixed, ready to sell. And here's my poor, poor dog, Lucky. We had to put his little cone back on around his head again because he... Uh, I don't know, this, this this stuff outside really irritates him in the summertime, so he's been scratching the crap out of his face and making it all, putting sores on there and stuff. The poor guy's been so itchy. Ain't it, baby? He can't stop itching. Oh, Lucky. Lucky. What? He can't stop itching his face. But we've been washing it every day, and we have to clean his ears and... Get all the wax out of there because he uh, gets his ears all full of wax and stuff. So, on to a couple more packages. I got to ship tomorrow. We got a X, uh, no, it's a Nintendo GameCube, a couple games and stuff in there. And then we got a couple more pieces of jewelry going out here. Today, I shipped 10 packages, which was very cool. Uh, very thankful for all the sales. All, anybody watching these videos that bought something from us, thank you so much. Now, this is one item I did get today. This has a crack in the glass, which is sad, but it's still really old and really cool. It's an old oil lamp. Uh, not electric. This comes out, you put your oil in there, and... That is an old oil lamp. I think it's from the 1930s. I don't know, 40s, 30s, something, who knows. But I've been real careful with it. I already got it listed on my page. Nice, nice condition, not too bad. Uh, not too bad at all. And there's my beautiful wife, Anna. Hi. <coughs> How, How you been doing? 
Oh, hello, hello. Look at Lucky all up on my couch. Look, He's just chilling like Van Dillon there. <laughs> He's looking at me like, what are you doing with that thing? What is that thing? <laughs> He's all sniffing up on Mama, trying to see what Mama's doing on the table there. She's making another batch of egg rolls. But it's a fish egg rolls. Fish egg rolls? Yes. We had those Someone, before. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Someone uh, ordered for like 25 pieces. Oh, good. That's... Hello, mga kapatid. Kumusta po? Ah, some... Uh, wala ako pakialam. Uh, <laughs> bahala ka. Bahala ako. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kumusta po? I forget the language. Kumusta po is how are you? Hmm. What did I say when I said... Wala kong pakialam bahala ko, Rikao. You said I don't care. It's up to you. Uh, I'm not <laughs> That's the new words she taught me this week. So I've been practicing. I, I hope I'm right. <laughs> Somebody questioning. Oh, well, it's Malek. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm not good in English. You're so good in English. Not always. Yes, you are. Your English is so great. Oh, well. I wish my English was as good as your English. Uh, Thursday po, gagawa po tayo ng suman na kamoteng kahoy. Now, what kasaba, are you saying? Kasaba dessert. Uh, what did you just say? Kamoteng kahoy, it's a uh, kasaba. But what did you say? You said something in Tagalog. Oh, sab I said, on Thursday, I'm making a cassava dessert. Aha. Oh. Uh -huh. mm. So, maganda ikaw. Oh, I just told her she's so beautiful. <laughs> she's so beautiful, woman. I just want to cry long. Oh, you shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so lucky ako sayo. I'll make a video. <laughs> <laughs> There ain't nothing to show, so I gotta keep the camera on you all day. Oh, on Thursday I'm making that cassava. It's a long process. Just what is cassava? Cassava is a, like a root crops. Root crops. Yeah, it's like a family with a <coughs> uh, purple yam or whatever is that. I don't oh, know. it's a cake. Looks like like a cake, but it's purple. It's pretty good too. If oh, you put yeah. cheese in it, though, it's ugh. oh, it's not, it's a bread. It's it's different. I'm I'm going to make on Thursday. Okay. I show you. I just make a short video for that. Mm. Abangan yun po yon. Salamat. What, what the heck was that? <laughs> I, just, I don't know. I know sabi mo. I don't know. I any know. English. <laughs> I just asked her, what did you say? I don't know. Sometimes I don't know. Did you cuss me out in Tagalog? Yes. Oh, boy. So, uh, yeah, it's been kind of kind of lame as far as buying stuff. I haven't gone out metal detecting. I haven't done anything but work on that computer and wrap packages and... Hasn't been a whole lot going on. I'm sitting here trying to think, what could I go over with you guys to share with you that would be exciting and make you want to watch? So, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this yes. is only becoming like a seven-minute video here. That's why I make uh, a video on my Tagalog words. Yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and come over here. I did get this, too, this nice little... Uh, this is an incense burner carved from soapstone. Real intricate piece here. You can see the draggers and dragons and stuff. You know, and I always get the same luck. I find something really cool. And guess what? It's got a repair. Oh, it gives me a headache. I'm so pissed. Because that is such a cool, cool piece. Just really nicely carved. It's old. Check out this carving on here. I mean, this thing is really nicely detailed. 
And it's so cool, I almost don't want to get rid of it because I know with the damage, it's not really going to probably fetch a whole lot. This bottom piece here alone might get me about $35 to $40 if I'm lucky. You know, you just got to find that right person. But with the damage, I mean, if this thing wasn't damaged, you know, I would put no less, no less than $150 on it. You know, that may seem crazy and outlandish and everything like that. But hey, there are people out there that collect things. And when they see something they like, they got to have it. They can't sleep until it is in their possession. Like what you did. <coughs> yeah, like what I did. Exactly like Anna just said. What I did was... I sold my guitar, that Gibson I told you about, and it was beautiful, I loved it, but it had a repair, and I kind of lost my love for it, because Lucky tipped it over, he was in my room playing around and running, and tipped it over onto the ground, and then it cracked the neck a little bit, and I had to have it repaired, and after that I just fell out of love with it, so I sold it to a guy that was interested in it, and then, yeah, I got the one I showed you earlier in the video, which, you know, hey, it turned out to be all right. It's a good thing. But before that, you just break out. Yeah, oh yeah, I was going to say, I, after I sold it, I spent like two or three days <laughs> looking online. And I was just looking at the guitars and thinking, man, I wish I didn't sell it. Dang it, you know, I should have kept it and never going to find another replacement. And... It was about three days later, and Anna would come in and out of the room and see me on the computer. <laughs> and I said, honey, I just can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> and then when I, I said, I, I need to go and get a replacement because now I don't have, I don't have a good guitar anymore in case somebody calls me and says, hey, you know what, come jamming with us or we need you and... But even though that hasn't happened in probably five years, uh, but still, you know, I just, I, I can't go without having a quality guitar because I just need it. Sorry, it's just a weakness of mine. So, yeah, so I got that guitar and I'm real happy about it. But I did get a lot of things accomplished here this last week. We'll go ahead and step down, flip our light here in the basement, see if I can find, uh, I think I put other stuff away that I got this week. Well, actually, I'll just show you what I've been doing here. I've been playing Mr. Repair Man on the, uh, got to excuse my little mess going on here. This is that Xbox 360 that I told you about that uh, I had to tear apart. This is the actual drive for the unit. I already put it back in there, but I had to take everything apart. You know, I've got pieces everywhere. And uh, take this out of here, and then underneath there, you can get to the drive belt that opens that door there. The door's been getting stuck, so... When I checked it out, yeah, the belt in there was really worn. It was loose. So it didn't have enough drive to get that to get that disc back out of there and get it open back up and everything. But, it, you know, when I, when I did check it and I cleaned it all up, I tried it that first because some guy said if I clean it real good, then I can get it to open up. Well, I did that and I put it back in there and I tried it. And the first time, excuse me, the first time it worked, but then after I put another CD in there and tried it again, it didn't work. So I was like, yeah, I got to replace that belt. But at least now I know that that motor and the gears in there are working good. So that's good. But uh, yeah, just been uh, pulling maintenance people this week. Uh, it's kind of why I'm late on this video. There just hasn't gone been a lot going on just this week because uh, I've been focused on the page. So sorry about that uh but as soon as something cool happens you'll be i'll be sure to get this camera busted back out and make a video and show you what's going on uh yeah i should be hitting a you know resting point here pretty soon um uh, 
as soon as I get this game put back together. My belt should be here tomorrow, I'm thinking. Then I had to order another couple of cords for this PS3 on the ground there. That's a PS3. And I tested it with another cord I had, and it's working great. Uh, I just need... Uh, you know an HDMI cord for that and I think that's it I'm just waiting on that and uh, got another controller for it that I got another cord coming in for so yeah this stuff's gonna get listed real soon I already started researching all the games and stuff and figured out what I need to do as far as listing those I've already put ones that weren't selling for a lot individually I mean, I had to look all them games up. You have to check that video out that I made when I showed you all them video games. I had to research all them games to see what they were selling for and, you know, which ones I need to pull aside, you know, and sell individually uh, to get the most money out of them. And uh, we got that all done. We got some listed. We got the others listed. Just been working hard. Um, and that's it. So... I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short, and uh, if I get out there for any adventures, I'll bring this camera back out and get it to you, what's going on. Thanks again for stopping, like, and subscribe to the page. We're glad you came out and watched the video. Take care, y'all, and God bless. We'll see you next time. Bye.